Hello, I'm Jeremy Butler, a 3D laser scanning consultant with Maptech Eyesight. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to drape a aerial photo over a surface in Eyesight Studio 4.2. Uh, the data that I'm using today is from both the 3D data and the photo, I derived from a drone metrics Topo Drone 100. Uh, so what I've got on the screen at the moment is the surface and I want to drape uh, the, the photo on top of that. So once you've got your surface imported and ready to go, uh, we can import JPEGs into iSight Studio. So if you've got a JPEG from uh, from your flyover, and this can be from any any sort of flyover and cover a large or small area. Uh, we drag that in. A little window will pop up asking position using two points or multiple points. Click two points and click OK. So on this aerial photo I have from the UAV I have uh, two known points in here that I'm going to use as my control points. One of them is this rock up here, I'm going to call it control one and the other one is down on the road here, this, this round dot just here, I'm going to call that control 2. Uh, since I know the coordinates for them, it's easiest to drape this by snapping to those points. So I'll set up a couple of points on the screen here ready to snap to. Um, and I've found a, a good way to do this is by creating text. So if you go up to create text, and down here we can type in the coordinates of the known points. So we'll do the top one first. And I'll give the name control top. And there it is up there. And then I'll do the same one for, for the bottom one. that control bottom. Okay, so now that I've got these two points I can snap to, uh, back in that window where uh, we had the photo, we need to tell it what surface we plan to drape this photo onto. So the easiest way to do that is to click in the little uh, text box here next to surface and then click on the surface you want to drape it onto and that will populate that there with that surface. Okay, now to snap to choose the points on the photo, we need to click down in under image X, and down at the bottom of the screen we have our snap modes. For the photo, we need to use snap to anything. So we click that, zoom into where that first control point is, and select it. And then on the screen, we can't snap to anything because we might snap into black space. So we go down here and go to snap to points. And we can click anywhere on that text and it will snap that point for us. And then we just repeat the process for the bottom one. So once again, I need to change back to snap to anything. Snap on that point. And then I need to change to snap to text. Uh, sorry, snap to points. And click on the text and that will snap to that. In the background now, uh, the photo will show up and give us an idea of where it's going to be put. Okay, so one very important point with using auto-rectified photos is they need to be orientated um, straight up. So if you see the control points I had had different heights in them and it's created a tilt in that. So basically every time you go to drape an orthorectified aerial photo onto a surface, you should also come down to here where it says specify orientation and go to axes aligned and click Z direction. Okay, and once that has recalculated, it will be sitting flat and you can have a quick assessment from above to see if the photo is lining up properly and then click OK. 
You'll see over on the left, the icon there has turned red to tell us that a photo is attached to the surface now. And we can go through and have a look at that. We can run animations on it also. Okay, if you've found that there's a problem with the alignment and you, and you want to try it again, you can always right click on the surface and go to view, remove photograph from surface and uh, restart the process. Uh, so that's all for this tutorial today. Uh, thanks for listening.